Okay, so we're going to pick up here, coming right out of the guitar solo. We have what's really kind of an outro to the solo, which takes us back into the song. Um, we have, it's really close to the intro to the song, the beginning of the song. So it's going to start with that same figure, and then and then that again. So that happened at the very, in the intro, we played that phrase twice too. So that happens coming out of the solo. And then this is when it changes a little bit. Instead of doing the straight intro at the beginning of the song, after doing that phrase twice, we do this. Okay, which is just a hammer on from the fifth fret to the seventh on the fifth string with your first and third finger. Then come over to the fourth string with the fifth fret of the first fi finger and then pick the seventh fret with that uh, third finger and pick it a couple times then bend it up. Okay, and then slide to the seventh fret with the third finger back to the fifth on the fourth string and then back to the seventh and so you're we have those three notes and then you're going to pull off from the seventh pick seven flick it down pull it off the five and then come over to the the third fret on the sixth string play this so that whole Okay, and then we end it with the exact same, the same phrase that we did twice, starting this solo outro. So the whole thing is. Then it takes us back into, back into the verse. We play through the verse again, um, just that, and it gets it us in at the end of the verse. And it goes back into this. Now this is the outro of the song. Back into the thing that we used, the same chord progression that we used as the intro to the solo. The, the A, the B, the D. Right, so we're actually going to do it here. The A here. Because that allows us to come up here because he changes between holding chords and playing little uh, uh, melody phrases up top. You can just play the melody phrases by themselves. He probably did that live or whatever. Um, but uh, we're going to do both and um, uh, you can uh, leave out the chords if you want. Just have your uh, bass player do them or whatever. So we have, uh, so coming out of this, out of this, uh, we have that. Um, so coming out of that last verse in the song, power chord of the fifth fret. First finger at the fifth fret on the sixth string, third finger at the uh, seventh fret, fifth string, and then the pinky at the fourth string, seventh fret. And then we're going to slide up to this twelfth fret on the second string, then the fourth, uh, the fifteenth fret with your third finger on the same string, and then come over same fret, first string. We have this. Okay, then play the B power chord, the same power chord shape, two frets higher, seventh fret. And then this one's gonna be a little more difficult. You're gonna slide to the 14th fret on the fifth string with your first finger. And then you're gonna play the 14th fret on the 4th string and then reach up and grab that same note the high 15 with your 2nd finger so it comes like and then we're going to end it with the D the 10th fret power chord the same shape 10th fret and then come up to the 12th fret on the 2nd string and then go to 12 with your first finger, 14 with your third, 15th with your uh, pinky, 
then back down to the 14, and then back down to the 12. And when you play 12 this time, do a hammer on to the 14 and then pull off the 12. So we got this. And then come over and play the 14 on the third string with your third finger, and then the 12th fret on the third string. So we're gonna and then we're going to end the song with a whole step bend at the 15th fret. And he picks this continually as the song fades out. And he's got a really wild, crazy vibrato on it that really takes it out of tune and really makes it sound real warbly and stuff. And that's the effect he's going for. You'll also hear in the outro, I didn't um, do it in the performance, but he'll kind of bend up and do it. So just have a lot of fun on that note, you know, until it fades out. Okay, so get going and go back to the uh, performance and see if you can piece this all together and play along. Thanks.